All right, y'all. So we have something very, very big that's gone on. Um, it looks like Trump has actually spoken out in support of Bitcoin. And he, he said a lot of interesting things, made a lot of interesting points about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. So this is very, very huge. I don't know if you understand the magnitude of what's actually happened today. Basically, Trump coming out and confirming that this is this is a big thing. He said, I saw one clip where he said, America, if he becomes president, America is going to hold 100% of Bitcoin. They're not they're not doing anything. They're, they're just holding. They're going to hold all the all the Bitcoin. Um, so I saw something along those lines, and that was that was really really dope. That was really inspiring, um, and it, it shows you people are seeing how massive this opportunity with Bitcoin is. Obviously, regulations coming with it and things like this, but I try to zoom out a bit. I look at what the world has become: reality TV, drama shows, stuff like that, Netflix, Hulu, um, Disney Plus. You got um, stuff on your phone, social media, movies, and stuff on there, or videos and stuff on there, YouTube. Like literally everything has become a show. Everything has become entertainment. So I believe when it comes down to cryptocurrency, the higher ups know, and they they just have to make it. They have to make it a beautiful show. They have to make it a beautiful, beautiful, entertaining, and things like that. There has to be that. Like anything that happens too fast goes too good, goes too quickly in one direction. People aren't really going to trust and stand behind that because it just went too well, too fast. No drama involved. It's, it's boring. It's boring. You're going to wonder why was that so easy? So I believe that we're, we're, we're caught up in an act. We're caught up in entertainment because anything done these days has to have some entertaining flair to it. Most people don't have the attention spans to watch something boring. So when you, when you look at it, things from that type of perspective, that like I do, I feel like it's very obvious. Crypto is going to be the future. The, the dollar's failing. I don't see that changing. I don't see that, that fixing itself. I mean, it's gone too far down this hole. And it wouldn't be the first time in history the, the this financial system has failed. Like it, it's it's happened. It, it's definitely happened before. I, I forgot all the details about it. Maybe we should look up some of those videos where they actually went over and broke it down. I because I I've done research into stuff like this before, but yeah, I don't just hang on to every random bit of information that I know. But yeah, that being said, I 100% believe that cryptocurrency is the future. It's a better form of currency. And the fact that there's regulations coming and, and now the president is campaign using that as a campaign tactic and things like this, it tells you how, how massive crypto actually is going to be for society. So that being said, we're going to check out some of what, what he's had to say. Let me know your thoughts on this. I believe that it's very, very bullish. The fact that um, America is going to be holding it and America, he wants to bring, um, make America the forefront of crypto. That's, that's pretty huge. That, that That's pretty insane to me. So um, yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Whether you love Trump, hate Trump, I mean, I'm not really into the politics game. It is what it is. I think that it's all a game. I don't know if any politician is actually in control. Like, more than likely, the people that's in control aren't any of the people we think is in control. So, it's like, yeah, it's just a game. It's just a game. It's just a game and a show, like, like I said, in my opinion. But anyway, let's jump into it, y'all. Donald J. Trump, 45th President of the United States, and soon to be the 47th President of the United States. Hello, Bitcoiners. Thank you very much. Hello. It's good to be the with Bitcoiners. you. It's good to be with you. If crypto is going to define the future, I want to be mined, minted, and made in the USA, it's going to be. It's not going to be made anywhere else. And if Bitcoin is going to the moon, as we say, it's going to the moon. I want America to be the nation that leads. I don't listen to Trump, to be honest. I, I, I've heard some points and stuff like that. It's actually just funny. I hear more impersonations of Trump than I actually hear Trump himself. And like him sounding like the impersonations of him. I, like, obviously, it's his voice, but... Seeing him with his voice is kind of crazy to me. It's like, it's actually pretty hilarious. So, yeah, like, the, these people impersonating or not impersonating, like, like yeah, copying the voice and stuff like that, it'd be hilarious. It's the way, and that's what's going to happen. No, you're going to be very happy with me. You're going to be very happy with me. I want to thank Dave. Secret Service just told me, sir, would like a little more time. I said, you take all the time you want. You can take two hours, three hours, the hell with the people that have been waiting out here. But it's, I'm sure they don't mind either. But it is a great honor. And uh, 
lot of things are happening in the world. We just heard. Yeah, no, everyone's standing anyway. Nice. I used to say sit down, everybody sit down. But it's nice when they stand, including. Bitcoin is not threatening the dollar. The behavior of the current U.S. government is really threatening the dollar. I mean, that's kind of true. Like, I, I don't, I've never understood why there's no real solid financial business people in charge of things. Like, I, I've, I've always believed that. Um, that's why I was never necessarily against Trump, like besides the media. And also I come from, I come from social media and things like this. So I know how easy it is to spin narratives about people. So, you know, you don't even know what information is real, what information is fake and things like that. It's hard to even know what you can trust. So I never really have gone off that. But yeah, I, I just think people with a business background, who's very good at playing the game, like regardless of what you want to say about Trump, the whole world's against him, the old whole, whole world coming up with scandals and stuff like this, trying to dig into him. At the point where the whole world is targeting somebody like this, a lot of people is targeting somebody like this, it tells you that they're very good at business. Somebody, do, like, obviously, if they're going to be doing something, they're going to be doing it for their own best interest. But at the same time, if they're good enough to do it, like, at the end of the day, if you are if you want to keep profiting and making money off of this country, you can't let it fail. So it's like, that that's that's pretty much my logic. Like, that's, that's my logic behind it. I don't, I don't, I, I never really seen it as a, Oh, who does he like? Does he like this race? Does he like that race? Does he? I don't. I don't give a shit about somebody's personal preferences. Do they want the best for the country? And with his ego, his need for money, and things like this, I think that he he wants to do what it takes. And then his, his ego, like just just to be able to say, oh, I was the best president, or something like that, or whatever, like that, or I made all these changes. So he's that type of person. So he has to be able to list out his accomplishments, which means you have to have some accomplishments. So yeah, that's just how I would look at that. <laughs> In one day, bro, on day one, I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. Damn. That was crazy. I didn't know he was that unpopular. <laughs> I didn't know he was that unpopular. Let me say it again. <laughs> On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler. Whoa. <laughs> How to get the crypto people on your side immediately. <laughs> Trump isn't elected, this country's going to go into a depression the likes of what you had in 1929. And I hope that's not true, but I can understand it and I can understand what they're saying. The stock market gain, they think, is because looks like we're going to win the election. And I don't know what's going to happen with the election. You know, they cheat like hell and I don't know what's going to happen. But if we win it, this country is going to be boomtown. It's going to be booming like it never boomed before. The <laughs> he said they cheat like hell i mean that's that's not a shock that's not surprising to hear and i mean hey it is what it is it's all part of the game i mean you get into a game that's kind of rigged against i mean the side that's not on the side of the people who matter so and the people who matter is not the american people it's like the people with power you know so i mean hey it is what it is you got to play by their rules um, no matter how much the the whole freedom, you're free to play by your own rules, no matter how much that is actually pushed. But it is what it is. That's why I don't dive into it, man. I just focus on the things that you can control because that's that's really all that you can do. Think of that. It's already... As the final part of my plan today, I am announcing that if I am elected, it will be the policy of my administration, United States of America, to keep 100% of all the Bitcoin the U.S. government currently holds or acquires into the future. We'll keep a... That's the clip that I saw that made me want to check this out with y'all because that was huge, bro. Keeping 100% of the Bitcoin that the USA acquires, like, that is massive. That, that is very massive. So if America is holding it, like an entire... The, the, the arguably one of the strongest countries in the world, the strongest country in the world, is is on the side of Bitcoin under under Trump. I mean... 
the fact that it's even being mentioned, the fact that you can be against, like it, it tells you the power of Bitcoin. It tells you the power of it right there. The fact that it's brought up in so many conversations and stuff like that. Now, like I said, the people against it, I feel like this is reality TV. Maybe it's a lot of old heads who don't understand the benefit of crypto. And I get it. Like, But if you're still in positions of power and you're that ignorant and so that caught in your ways where you haven't really done research into Bitcoin and understand the value of cryptocurrency and all of that, like... I mean, you probably shouldn't be in a position of power, but I mean, some things can't, you, you won't be able to change. But um, yeah, I believe that Bitcoin is inevitable. Um, it's inevitable. So, yeah. 100%. I hope you do well, please. This will serve in effect as the core of the strategic national Bitcoin stockpile. Clearly, an idea posted anonymously on an internet message board to be the ninth most valuable aware of it, much more so than people that are a little bit old. But I say this. We had a great debate. It was a tremendous debate, actually. And since then, uh, hey, look. You have to open the eyes. You have to. You have to see what's going on. We have a country to run. The problem is that Kamala is worse than Joe. She's worse. She's a radical left lunatic. Defund the police. All of the different things. And so far, we're doing. She's got a little honeymoon going on right now. But when people hear about her, and she's against crypto, by the way, and she's against it very big. So I just want to let you know, you got to get out. You got to get out and vote. I stand before you today filled with respect and admiration for what the Bitcoin community has achieved. It's incredible, actually. Long, Our country cannot fail. With your help, we will save our nation, we will restore our republic, and we will make America and Bitcoin bigger, better, stronger, richer, freer, and greater than ever before. Thank you all. Have a good time with your Bitcoin. and your crypto and everything else that you're playing with and we're going to make that one of the greatest industries on earth good luck and god bless you all thank you god bless you thank you all right so yeah there we have it man um now i'll say this do i think trump fully understands what bitcoin is no <laughs> i don't i don't think he fully understands what it is i don't think that any of these politicians well not many of them i'm not going to say any obviously but I don't think that people know what it is, know the magnitude of it, know why it's so valuable and things like that. I, I don't believe that, but I do believe that he's he's wise enough or he's informed enough to include it and know that this is a community that he can tap into and it's an important thing to tap into here. It's an, it's an important thing to build up and stuff like that. So to even be able to identify that, even if you can't quite wrap your head around the purpose or, or real value and things like that, that's I think that that's huge. That's huge to be in touch with uh, groups of people, in touch with communities. Like still, still be really in the trenches because that that's what we call it. When you're deep in crypto, you're the gen. Like we in the trenches, and for him to to well, he's not obviously not in the trenches with us, but for him to be diving into a trench community and wanting to bring it mainstream and wanting to be on the winning side and choosing that that is the side that's going to win. Um, yeah, I think that that's huge. That's a very, very big stand. So yeah, there we have it, y'all. Um, let me know what you all think and how you all feel about that in the comment section down below, man. Um, definitely a lot more videos coming soon. I'll, I'll keep you all updated with what's going on in terms of Bitcoin. A lot more, a lot more content coming. But yeah, that being said, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn notifications and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.